step in that. products and honestly i don't have anything bad to say about them but every first i know skincare it varies for everyone and that's just that like period what it does for someone else it may not do for you but i've noticed with me i'm not gonna say it's been getting rid of my acne because it has not but what it has done was even on my skin tremendously i see a major difference when in that category because I had a lot of dark spots that I had been struggling with to just, you know, fade away or whatever. I also had like dark rings up under my eyes here. I don't know where it come from, like sleep, stress, whatever it come from. But I had really dark marks under my under my eyes and it had even those like so, 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 so much. So I like it or whatever. I love an oil cleanser. Even before I ordered this, this kit. I was using an oil cleanser in my skin routine. All right, I'm about to rinse this off. I'm gonna leave my skin damp because the next the next step requires my face to be damp. So the first one I went in with was the Purify. That's the oil cleanser. And now I'm gonna go in with the Even the Even facial cleanser. Honestly, I've never seen a cleanser like this, but whatever, okay. I'm gonna let my face dry. I'm gonna go in with the rejuvenating step. I usually just spray it directly in my face. So we're gonna let this dry, 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 dry. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with the most famous Rose Galore. I love this stuff so much. If I purchase again, I probably would not purchase the whole kit. I would probably just purchase this and the oil cleanser. That's about it. It only takes a little bit. A little goes a long way, I promise. So I usually put one under here. Over my eye. And then one across my forehead. And it leaves your skin feeling so, so soft. my brows done. I can use, I'm gonna add that to my list today because these brows here baby. So that's it. Okay, it leaves your skin glowing, honey. Ready to go. Bingley, come here. Goodness, it looks like it's about to freaking pour down. Uh. Okay, so I'm gonna run into Target, pick up a few things, and gotta run a Ross. It is currently 12:46, and our museum say appointment, but we gotta be at the museum by 3:30. So, and I still gotta go home and get dressed. So let's go. Can't forget about our mask. I don't want to keep having to do it because I'm going to get to get to where we need to be. Ooh. <laughs> Are these only $4.89? These are only $4.89. Whatever, I think I'm just going to get that and that's it. That's all I came I forgot my list, so I really don't know what I came here for. And we don't have time to be here all day for me to look, so we finna check out. out to try to make it to this place by 3 30 i'm praying we make it there by 3 30 i'm trying to be on time but if you don't hey i'm running late like, be late like, it's 3 33 and i'm halfway ready and i plan on taking pictures today as you can tell it's raining outside so i don't know how that's gonna happen just gonna try to stay positive make the best i've been really looking forward to this all day Spack my ears that i had to run earlier my skin is just not, it's not cooperating. It's traffic though. 
I'll see y'all when we to the museum. So we just got here. She's over there paying for parking. And we're gonna walk on in. Fashionably late, okay? Cause it's almost four o'clock. And we supposed to be here at 3 30. I forgot our freaking mask in the car rushing, trying to pay and get in here. So we gotta go and see. And then the we didn't even have to rush. We didn't Obviously even have to rush. We're here at the little gift shop thing. About to buy some masks because we don't feel like I don't feel like walking back to the car. It's raining and I got a candle, so. Minutes, so we're about to walk downstairs and then we're about to go get something to eat. Okay, natural lighting. Okay, y'all. So one of my packages finally, finally, finally came in. I'm gonna give y'all the whole rundown with this company that I ordered these freaking shoes from. It took damn near a month to get here. Friend texted me and she was like, Have you got your shoes yet? Because I had told her about it or whatever. And I'm like, girl, I'm still waiting. But they came today. Yeah! Okay, so y'all, I ordered these Yeezy, I guess, replicas. Yeezy slides replicas, I'm gonna call them because they're definitely not the real deal, okay? I wanted them, so I ordered them. I got this little tan color and then this little green color. And I got them in an the eight. Okay, so I ordered these shoes from the Sneaker Genie. I don't know if you guys have seen or heard about them. Like, I literally found them on Instagram. I think I think their little ad had popped up. It was like, and it was a good deal. It was like, these, both of these pair for $125. And I'm like, heck yeah, because like, I understand a lot of people be shopping on GOAT. Apparently, GOAT is legit or whatever. But GOAT was a little out of my price range. And I was not going to pay freaking $300 for a pair of shoes. No, that wasn't that one it. So everybody that shop on GOAT, good for y'all but i want to fuck with the prices so I ordered these and i ordered on july 2nd i was emailing the people like because they had an email on the website and i'm just like you know i haven't it was like two weeks after and i had received any ship shipping details so i was like let me email them no response i emailed them from another email no response no response no response no response so then i got a notification that they had switched the shipping company I'm like okay maybe i can go ahead and check shipping details no shipping details still so eventually like i just was like whatever i gave up money really and then i just so happened to check because i like you know like some of the companies they use like shop whatever the thing is shop like so you could track it or whatever i had ordered some other stuff too. like that was just on the list of all the other stuff that i was tracking so i was like let me tra track it or whatever and finally it was shipping details and like the store the company or whatever who it is is based out of atlanta so i'm sitting here thinking they got a storefront store i never went like i always said i was gonna go but it never crossed my mind but then i checked it it was like just not leaving china i was like what just not leaving freaking China. Are you kidding me? So, more of the story. They finally got here today. Tomorrow would have made a month. And they just came today. I'm really excited about them. They're super cute. Good quality, okay? I got this color too. So, I'm probably going to put an outfit together today. So, I can post on the gram. And my little shoes. Because I didn't think I was going to get a chance to. Let me try them on while I'm all excited. Oh, they actually bigger than I thought. Oh, but they bigger than i expected i really thought they was gonna be too small because i haven't seen a lot of people with the yeezys or 
replicas or whatever. And some some of them be too small. Okay, y'all be ordering the wrong freaking size. Okay, so I ordered an eight, and they still too big. Dang, I thought it was gonna be too small. Dang, I should have just went with the seven. I don't care. I'm still gonna wear them. Cause who's gonna try to ship them back to do a new size and wait? A nah. So um. What was I supposed to be? I've been doing a little bit of editing. And of course I got distracted because my girl Drea called. So me and Drea talk. What's up y'all? So it's the next day, okay? Yesterday was so much fun. The museum was really a dope, dope experience. So if you're ever in ATL, definitely check out, I think it's called High Museum or something like that. But it's really dope. I'll leave it in the description box below. But right now, um, as you can see, y'all, I took down my braids because it was time for them to go. I just did this little quick i really ain't even do nothing but take it out i haven't even washed my hair yet honestly i just wet it up a little bit and as you can see some of it is dried up already oh so let me tell y'all i spilled wine on my freaking mac it really sucks because i'm really getting into the hang of like learning how to edit on my computer and because i really want to put it to use and i really haven't put it to use let me lift this window up. i didn't even know my window was down back there I don't even think I backed up my MacBook, honestly. I was supposed to call them to see how I can do it. I guess it's a way you could do it if you can't get into your MacBook. But I forgot, so oh well. I think I have some of the content on here. It's really only one video. The desk video where I'm putting my home office desk together. Like, I think I have that video, some of those videos on my phone. So I can really, like, try to edit it on my phone and upload it. But we'll see so yeah let's put in this address y'all so i had to stop to get me starbucks a grande strawberry refresher yeah with water and can i can you put that in a venti cup with extra ice and that'll be all thank you oh i'm sorry thank you okay so we're gonna go to the post office hopefully it's not a car coming because i can't see i don't know why i use Khadija instead of KD because I know they're gonna spell it wrong every time though. They didn't put a stick on here this time. I'm gonna go to the post office. Like no lie, y'all. I really miss filming for y'all. It really broke my heart when my computer wouldn't come back. Because I had so much content on my MacBook because that's where I was just like I would film on my phone because y'all know I film on my phone. So I would film and then I would just airdrop everything to my computer and just like I'm like I was just like I'm gonna this is not working okay my phone keeps freaking falling it's really irritating but all my content was on my on my macbook so hopefully it don't take long it didn't take them long to send the box so hopefully it doesn't take long for them to fix it and send it back until then i'm still gonna be making content i had to get out of my little i don't even know what to call it this was not motivated at all so i was like forget that i'm gonna vlog okay and i'm gonna make the best of it period apparently the post office is closed on Sunday. I didn't freaking know. So I guess I'll drop it off tomorrow. 